Hey there, so this is the uh, XCM copier, so this is an RFID cloner copier. Uh, what it does is it reads uh, either EM tag IDs or HID tag IDs, and you can clone them or write them to the XCM tag. It's very convenient, handheld, uh, works pretty well. So I'll show you here right in a minute. So here we have the XCM cloner. It uh, works with the XCM tag, so you can copy EM tags or HID tags to it. And uh, so you just turn it on like that, it gives a beep. Uh, what I really like about it is when you read EM tags, it beeps twice, and when you read HID tags, it beeps three times. So essentially, uh, what you do is you, you pick your tag type and you, you place it, uh, the, the source tag, you place it up to the reader, and then tap the read button. Uh, you don't hold the buttons down, you don't press it and then bring it, you, you must bring the tag first, then tap the, the read button. And the same works for writing. So for writing, I take this XEM tag, and eject it from the needle. You, you can't write to it when it's in the needle, there's too much interference. So I'm gonna eject it out of the needle. And you place, so let's do the EM tag. And then you place it, you have to orient it correctly. But you get two beeps and you do it again, you, know, you place it and you tap it. And it does work through the skin. Uh, my, my tag is too old, it's from 2005, so it's read-only EM. And uh, it's not one of our newer XEM tags, it's based on the ETA 5577. But uh, so this is EM now, and I can place it here, and you can see it's reading the little lights blinking. Um, so it's reading as EM. If I try to place it here on the HID reader, nothing happens. So let's get three beeps reading the HID card. And got to place it again. So I got three beeps. A little bit harder to get it aligned there. Three beeps, and so if I place it, oh, my hand's in the way. So I place it on the reader. You can see it blinks red. It comes into range, take it out of range. Yeah, so it's responding to the HID reader and not on the EM reader. Nothing's happening there. So um, it's programmed as HID now. So that's essentially how you use the copier. When you're done, you turn it off and there you go, that's it.